cat reaction face. He was going like, I, it's, I can't make the face. It's only in the cat thing. And the cat exclusive. <laughs> my mom was like, what? Who is that? <laughs> I, I was going to send her back. That's your new son. But I, I decided against it in the last second. Anyway. You might not have got a Christmas gift that year. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this guy. Anyway, the cat void versus uh, anti and Kamibushi. This should be a good one. I don't know, who do you feel who do you feel has the edge in this matchup if you just like on paper, I obviously I know it's kinda hard to say. I'm I'm actually gonna go with a slight edge to Void and the Cat because obviously they both have been practicing a ton. Getting better and better. Um, but they are static. And when you have a static team who is used to this position, you can expect great things. Okay. Um, I've seen the cat hovering over Jigglypuff for unknown reasons. All right, there we go. <laughs> Why go Jig? You can go Ness. Yeah. <laughs> and Kamamushi, though, he, he's obviously no slouch, but him and Anti don't really team together too often, you know? That's true. And Ness and Sheik are both phenomenal characters in doubles. Mega Man is definitely fine in his own right, but I feel like that's a Kamamushi exclusive, more so than the character. Yeah, I think Kamamushi has kind of um, outperformed, I don't want to say outperformed his character, but I think his skill kind of shines much more than uh, Mega Man, you know, shines as a character, so. Definitely agree. I think they're, they're great, they, they work very well with each other. I'm glad he found the character that he feels so comfortable with. And right now, I just love, even though Kamamushi's also only at very low percentage, I feel like Nikat's one of the best support players in doubles there is. He's very difficult to hit, and he always hits you. Like, just so opportunistic. Uh, it's funny you say that. I would actually say kind of a similar thing about um, Void. He has such great stage presence. Um, you can kind of count on, count on him to, to punish your opponent if they're doing something to you. Did Kamamushi just punish Dash Attack with up tilt? Hey, man. I did not know that was an option. Talk about knowing your character in and out and your opponents at that. Yeah, he. I'm sure that he studied the frame that and knows exactly what he can punish and what he can't punish on shield with up tilt. Such a great, great move that kind of only has limited uses in terms of punishing like that. And Grand Knight said CLG may be the favorites. At the moment, they're not looking like it. Red Team definitely has that lead. And it, it seems like maybe this kill power is really what's helping them out. Uh, wow, Kamamushi missing his down air there just barely. Going super deep for that recovery, but still ends up losing a stock to Void. Yeah, Void using up smash in this, a very interesting situation. I'm surprised he was aware that it would have worked there. Yeah, I feel like that could have easily missed and got punished, but uh, he felt confident and it worked out for him. All right, they are deciding to just kind of double team Kamamushi because Anti is just kind of not winning the fight right now. <laughs> he says, I'm at 139% and we're going to keep it that way. I mean, he's kept it this uh, that way for this long. It's, it's funny that, oh, all right. I was about to say, it's really funny that he's opting to fight uh, Ness. Uh, I'd rather kind of fight Sheik in that situation because she has the lower KO power. Ness can just tag you with a random up air or, you know, get God forbid you get grabbed by Ness, by Ness at 100. Definitely agree with you in that regard. And, you know, I mean, he, he did lose stock to it. It was from an up air, but the Sheik is actually the one that started it, ironically sure. enough. Yeah. All right now, both teams on two stocks apiece. Oh, Nakat trying to be evasive here. <laughs> it looks like he doesn't even want to fight Kamamushi. Yeah, he's no longer playing the hit. He's playing to not get hit. Interesting. Ooh, baits out the air dodge, but doesn't get the punish on Anti. And now he's actually off stage. Anti chasing him down. Nakat still not able to hit the ground quite yet. Finally managing to grab the ledge, but only moment for a second. Grabs yeah. the ledge just to get on stage and lose that stock to Anti. Yeah, it's really weird. I wonder where Nakat was trying to land in that situation. Because both Kamamushi and Anti were on stage. Just kind of waiting for him. I... Would have liked to see him maybe just retreat back to the edge. Maybe he was going for the classic, I'm going to nest air dodge and you're not going to hit it. But the players of this caliber are going to hit that every single time. I think he might have been trying to go for like a landing up air, maybe. Just uh, like calling his opponent's buff. But in any case, he loses his stock. And red team again back in the lead, both at kill range though, which is at least a saving grace for blue team. They can just kind of pull it together a little bit more, take this box of uh, Mega Man and Mario. They can be right back in this. But anti. Kamamushi saying no. Did he get a down he, smash KO? He actually got the jab reset. He did the footstool jab reset on him, brought him to the ledge, fully charged down smash. Man, I never <laughs> see it. It just Mega happened Man on the sneak smash. tip. It just <laughs> on the sneak tip. He was like, yo, wow, everybody's looking at the left side of the stage. Let me just get this footstool set up real quick. No, yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, wow, Anti's doing a great job just keeping Void away from whatever's happening over there on the right. Whoa. <laughs> Void was desperately trying to get there. That's for sure. 
So a great teamwork coming out of Anti and Kamamushi, even though this is the first time they've teamed. The Cat and Void talking it over, trying to figure out a game plan for the next round. Anti and Kamamushi saying, you know, neither of them speak the same language, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, they haven't even <laughs> they haven't said a word to each other in like all day. <laughs> Somehow they're making this teamwork. Google Translate is your friend. Yeah, it must be that. <laughs> All right, so game number two, back to Smashville. I, I don't know, I would have liked to see maybe a stage swap for these two. I mean, it does, when you go back to the same stage that you lost on, it does say a little something about the confidence that you're saying. You don't feel like it's a stage thing. You felt like you can just make the slight adjustments in order to win this next game. And to be fair, the match is definitely starting off a lot more even than it did before. Ooh, right there, good stuff by the cat waiting for the air dodge of anti. Yeah, there, uh... This this is much better than what was happening in you know, the first like minute of the first match they played, so. Back air coming through. The boy does manage to recover. Very sneaky up air to recover onto the stage. I have not seen that tech by Sheik before. Yeah, I was wondering how he got up there so quick, but uh, even though you know, even though he was able to get that kind of tech and get back on stage, he still loses his first stock. He does, it's really the cat really needs to start kinda of clinking some of these KOs and wow, that was almost a stock gone. Anti fishing really hard for that, and everybody's stock is going away right now. Everybody is zero percent. All right, we got even everyone. Game. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> not, not often you see that happen, but I don't think it gets more even than that. that. Again, yeah, I think it really goes to show how, he, how just even these teams are uh, in terms of skill level. Going right now, just edge guarding Anti, not letting him back, chasing him everywhere he goes. Has him at thirty-eight percent right now. And they finally get to grab, but Nakat says, you can grab my teammate. I'm going to make sure I nair you and take some damage for it afterwards, though. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah, great great timing, too, because it's usually pretty hard to punish Mario's back throw like that. Or at all, honestly. And that was a great position that Blue Team just had. Nakat kind of challenging everyone that jumps, and then Boy just staying a roll distance behind. <laughs> Did you see that? Nakat, PK Thunder, Kamamushi back on the stage. Uh, he was ready his forward smash for the, the missed tech, but Kamamushi just landed forward <laughs> tilt and <laughs> just went on with his game plan. <laughs> He's just like, I'm used to this. <laughs> Oh, I thought the downer was coming from Kamamushi, but I guess he realized that the cat would have the invincibility. Cat again punishing. Oh, what a way to get a KO. Wow. Don't see that very often. And, you know, the actual up air actually getting the KO itself. Be coming out from Void, alleviating some pressure. Anti and Void with a power shield battle over there. Anti winning in the end, though. Down throw, up tilt, but recognizing the cat was running over there and shielding that attack right away. Having great DI right now, but Anti the Hawk is over there trying to edge guard him. He does manage to make it back. It was only for a second, getting down smashed right after. Yeah, he kind of put himself in the bad situation there because uh, he, he knew it was going to be a re grab. I'm not sure what he was really looking for in that. And this is just a slugfest going on. Great weight by Nakat. He is so proficient at punishing those air dodges, baiting them out and then hitting them right after. Yeah, so red team with a very, very slight light lead, light lead here. Uh, blue team can still run this one back though, just need some good team combos and maybe like uh, a, a good kill setup like we've seen red team have. And I really need to give some praise to Kamamushi when it comes to supporting his teammate. <gasps> oh! Oh, just oh, as make he, it back. Wow, just as you say that, anti, you know, trying to do the opposite <laughs> of support his teammate. Yeah, but what I was gonna say is I always, I, I was giving, so much praise in the cat about it, but Kamamushi, every time Anti has been hit, he's been right there with the follow-up, somehow weaving in and out of the hitboxes of his opponents to make sure you get some damage on there. Yep, wow, punishes the Sheik for tilt with an up tilt of his own. That was actually surprising. I, <laughs> I didn't know he had enough time to actually punish that, but it looked like he might have power shield. Yeah, I don't know how he knows all of these punishes, oh, but he's making them work. Yeah, he just looked for another Metal Blade uh, reset right there. A little bit too early on the Metal Blade, Metal Blade Z-Drop. I was wondering if we're going to see another Supergirl Kells combo. And the cat getting the back throw right now. We have a 1v1 right now. And, you know, I respect that. Nick, uh, Anti kind of feeling himself. You saw him just uh, holding onto that jab button for like 10 seconds straight. Uh, that's why he got grabbed. So, wow, that back air. The cat's still uh, going to lift from that great DI from the cat. I wonder if a back door near the edge of the stage will be enough to take out Mega Man. He's pretty heavy. He is. Maybe you want to get um, to about at least a 90% rage if you're going to go for it because he does have a little bit of rage on him. All right. He does have 75% now on Mega Man. 
Definitely not want to take any risks. Very sneaky right there by Kamamushi. Wow. And the next back air does do it. Uh, the back air final destination, man. The first one misses. The second one just barely clips him. The third one, all three, baby. Kamushi Great. laughing, man. He's having Match. fun. He is. He is. And that's, that's really good. You always want to be having fun. That's how you play your best. Absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, over here on the CLG side, <laughs> neither one of these players look like they're having fun. Like, so maybe, maybe we can't go back to the gaming house. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that really is. Uh, I know the cat's always having a good time, and Void is just always with a serious face. So he is. He always does shake his opponent's hand though and give the head nod. It's very respectful of his opponents always. Anti smiles galore, looking happy, very <laughs> pleased with the performance that he just had. Anti Anti doesn't even like know he's playing a tournament. He's just. He's just waiting to get a stake in earlier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if I win, Immortals told me they take me out to eat. Lavish. So now I got to win. <laughs> I got to win. Uh, that, he did tweet out that he wanted a lavish breakfast, if I'm not mistaken. MP is living the lavish life, man. He's, he's a change of man. Ever since he got signed, he's become immortal. That's, maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> See what you did there. Hugh, yeah. Hugh, Hugh. <laughs>